we stopped at us. Philium. 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 Philium was the last one. Philium. You remember? All right. So we start with P, and so we start with peach leaves. Peach leaves. All right. Now, peach leaves have the capability of um, helping with diabetes. It also has the ability in order to help with um, baldness. All right. Um, it also has the ability in order to help with circulation issues in the body. Leaves are very efficient for that. All right. Then we also have what's called Padiaco, P-A-U, capital D, apostrophe, capital A-R-C-O. Padiaco. Padiaco is called the Tahibo tree. T-A-H-E-E-B-O, Tahibo. Um, that's what it's called within South, Af At, um, South America. It's called the Tahibo, Tahibo. But we refer to it here as Padiaco. All right, which is the um, Spanish name um, for it. But what it does is that it's also a blood cleanser, a blood purifier. It helps with um, removing heavy metals and toxins from the bloodstream. It helps to repair the blood. It helps with your digestive system. It also helps removing its antibacterial, um, it has antifungal, antiviral. Um, properties, so um, it can be used in order to help cleanse the body of parasites and bacteria and viruses, all right, and funguses, all right. So the Tahibo, or what is called the Padiaco, um, is actually made from the bark of the tree, all right. It's made from the bark of the tree, all right, very powerful. All right. All right. Then we're going to go to the Q. In Q, we have what's called, well, it's called Dong Kwai. Kwai. Um, C U A I. But it's also called Dong Kwai. D O N G Kwai. C, I mean, Q U. AI, Dong Kwai. Now, Dong Kwai, or Kwai, is um, good for um, female issues. Uh, it's good for a woman's reproductive organs. It helps to, uh, if a woman is frigidity or if the woman is um, if she can't have children, if she has fertility issues, then Don Kwai would be the herb in order to take. Okay? Don Kwai. All right? That's one of the best ones for that. Um, another major herb, so we did P and Q. Um, so let's go to Stevia. S-T-E-V-I-A. Stevia is known as a sugar, a natural sugar, but it's actually come from a plant called a stevia plant, which it does more than just give sugar. It also helps with diabetes. It helps with improving the circulation within the body. It helps with removing um, toxins from the lymphatic system. All right. Um, in fact, this is what I can do. In order to help, I can pull up my information and then we can actually go there. And let's see. Bam.
All right, so let's get let's get back to the that way you can actually see it. See the information here. Right. All right, here we go. So let me go back a little bit. Let's get to um, the orange pill. The orange pill has a high energy sense of orange, which is said to communicate the joy of angels to humans. This is the metaphysical esoteric meaning behind the orange pill is great for embodying the sun in a mixture, whether um, basically with what they call pot um, on pottery or pottery. I forget how they pronounce that, but it's also can be done as a tea, um, a, um, a statue, um, stature, or a charm like the sun. Orange pill lift those who are down, help. The confused find direction. It helps give new life to spiritual yearnings. Its sense is good for dealing with um, obsessed thinking, obsessive thinking, and sunlight for turning us back to what is important. Orange pill is nice. All right. Uh, let me see. All right. It says. Um, um, it's nice in the use celebrations, reminding us of the promise of sun even in the middle of winter. You can also mix it with cinnamon, frankincense, nutmeg, and juniper berries to put a nice um, peppery, pepper, pop, 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 in honor of Leo, uh, which is the of the Excuse me, doctor. Am I supposed to be able to see it or are you, you uh, just reading it? Yeah, you can't see it? No, sir. Okay, let me see. What about now? Yes, sir, I can see it now. Yes, sir, thank you. I right, know, thank you for um, telling me. All right, so orange pills um, mixes well with bay leaves, cinnamon, pepper, cloves, coriander, frankincense, juniper, lemon, patchouli, uh, sandalwood, um, embedded, um, vetiver, jasmine, rose. All right. It also have a good effect on lowering um, cholesterol levels, has a good fiber content, so it helps with being low in calories. And because of the, it adds bulk, bulk to the body, it helps to eliminate um, waste, you know, as well as also help aids in weight loss. And it also suppresses weight gain by the body. So... Um, that is very powerful for um, the orange pill. It also has a high level of um, histamine, reducing compounds and antioxidants, which helps in relieving various respiratory complications like bronchitis, colds, flus, lung, um, and even lung cancer. All right? So it's definitely excellent for that. You have osha root, which is also called bear claw. Osha root or bear claw. All right, you can sprinkle some osha root on pot on clothes of the opposite sex of bed sheets on your body and around the house, and we bring them closer to you and keep them close. All right, that's the metaphysical science behind it. Um, osha root is a member of the carrot and parsley family, and um, I'm telling you that joint is strong. It is strong. But if you have any problems with colds, flus, asthma, bronchitis, 
you know, it can definitely help heal you, right? It's very beneficial um, for those ailments, respiratory ailments in particular. Um, the root contains oil, you know, which that can help with removing lung and throat problems and issues, all right? Very powerful. And the natives used it on a regular basis to increase um, blood oxidation, you know, and also to facilitate uh, by an increase in gas exchange um, in the lungs. All right, it is also not considered and should not be taken by pregnant and nursing women. The root, um, the plant is actually considered safe. It is not, even though it's considered safe, uh, you know, but it's not associated and not associated with any negative or bad effects. But the plant is difficult to grow in commercial uh, cultivation environment. It is generally sold as a wild craft um, root. So even though uh, it shouldn't be used, you know, for pregnancy, even though there's not any negative. Now, if the person, I, I'll say this, if the person have lung issues, the woman and the me, or the male, the father has lung issues, and they want to make sure that the child has well-developed lungs, then she can take a little bit of this um, during the time of when the lungs are being formed in order to help bring them into its fullest potential. All right? Um, the lungs form within the first 12 weeks, uh, begin to form within the first 12 weeks or so um, of the pregnancy, so she can drink some during that time period. Then you have papaya leaves. Papaya leaves, we've been dealing with the peas. Papaya leaves is very powerful, um, great benefits, um, even for uh, cancer. It can be used for cancer remedy. Papaya leaves are great for uh, getting rid of invading bacteria that cause upset stomach problems. So anybody having Crohn disease, any other type of ulcers or stomach issues, this can help heal the body. Papaya leaves. All right. So IBS, which is um, inflammatory bowel disease can be um, helped healed, uh, colon inflammations, anything like that. Once again, um, papaya would be, um, leaves would be what you want. All right, it also break, um, breaks down wheat gluten. For those who have problems with wheat gluten, then they can take papaya leaves and it will help break down the wheat gluten. So. Um, anybody who takes in a large amount of wheat gluten, because a lot of products are not gluten free, um, you know, unless you're really into the vegan, vegetarian, uh, organic, you know, lifestyle. Uh, old blood types in particular have problems with wheat gluten. So if you're old blood type, then what you will want is to be able to have these papaya leaves. Let's see, knock on the door. Um, mm -hmm. These papaya leaves. Oh, um, as you see, um, is good for cancer. Uh, the papaya leaves has a milky, a milky sap that's great for preventing and killing cancer cells because it contains um, acetone um, genin, um, acto, um, acetogenin. Uh, which is a chemical within the papaya plant and which that helps with um, keeping the body healthy. There's been many studies, including studies in Japan, showing that the papaya leaves are effective for curing cancer. And there are many people who have cured their cancer by drinking papaya leaf tea. Now, um, papaya leaves in conjunction with mango leaves, in conjunction with graviola, which is called sour sap leaves, all right, um, those would be the ones that you definitely want to mix together um, as it will help to cure or 
heal the body. The University of Florida did studies showing that the papaya leaves contain agents that kills um, cancer, especially cervix cancer, prostate cancer, um, liver, breast cancer, as well as also lung cancer. The more concentrate, concentrated the tea is, which means that you want to take, you want to dry the leaves out, and you want to take handfuls of it and put it in a pot and let that boil and let it get real um, thick. All right? There's no side effect of any kind from it, but that is definitely what you want to use. All right? It says, it's here, it's talking about 10 leaves. I say a handful of dried leaves. So if you can get 10 leaves and that's enough for two handfuls, then you can use that. I say more. All right? And then you can take about, as it says here, one and a half gallon of water use um, basically boil to a quart and then let it cool and then you can drink the tea um, for two days um, it will probably give you about maybe four to six cups and you keep it in the refrigerator for two days but you drink it all right this is also um, as you see it um, enhances chemotherapy so a person taking chemotherapy, then they will also want to drink this papaya tea, all right? The papaya leaf tea uh, is good for those who have enlarged prostate glands, uh, acne remedy, increased um, um, platelet counts, uh, menstrual pain, laxative, has a, it works as a mild laxative, fevers, skin problems, increased appetite, cataracts, um, papaya leaves help prevent cataracts, all right? Um, emphysema, cause a large amount of vitamin D, it helps with emphysema, which of course, once again, is dealing with the lungs. Immune booster, anti-aging effect, it contains more than 50 or more different amino acids. Good gosh, that's a lot. That's a lot, all right? Because the average amino acid is around 20. We, even our physical body is only made up of about 22 amino acids. And here this is having 50 or more different amino acids, which are the building blocks of life, which is IE protein. Right? So it contains a great amount of nutrients. Also, vitamin B for vitality and enhanced mood. Shit, I'm getting ready to go and drink some after after this class. <laughs> you know? So we got papaya leaves, we got mango leaves, um, peach um, tree leaves, as well as also um, graviola, which is sour sap leaves. All right? Moringa leaves. These are some good leaves that you need to drink on a daily basis as a tea. Matter of fact, some of the first thing that you want to do in the morning is drink tea. You don't want nothing cold. You want to be able to have something that's warm, heated up warm, you know, and these type of teas are excellent for that. As you see, it improves um, and in, uh, immune enhancement and eye health, all right? And this is how potty alcohol looked, what I was talking about, Sahibo, earlier. It's a natural antibiotic, as we talked about, antibacterial, antiviral, antifungal properties, as I made mention of. It contains compounds that attack the causes of this ease. So whatever the cause is and you don't know, take potty alcohol. It boosts the immune system. It gives the body the energy needed to overcome various ailments, such as anemia, um, osteocirrhosis, um, asthma, bronchitis, leukemia, cancer, um, cysts, diabetes, skin problems, boils, ringworms, etc. Right, external sores, wounds, cuts, pains, even venereal diseases, herpes simplex 1, 2, and much, much more. All right, this is what we're talking about with peach leaves here. Peach leaves. All right, good good herb that you can use to get rid of worms from the body, as you may mention of, um, parasites and worms from the body. Um, it also get, is a remedy for warts, 
all right? So you definitely can use this. It also um, can be used as a cure for bronchitis and whooping cough, whooping coughs, all right? Peppermint. Peppermint is excellent. We spoke a little bit about peppermint, but peppermint, um, excellent for childhood diseases, coughs, colds, flus, bronchitis, digestive disorders, diarrhea, stomach cramps, gas, headaches, migraines, insomnia, um, nightmares, muscle spasm, pains, uh, nervous disorders, itching, dizziness, um, nausea, fever, heartburn, and heart palpitations. It also helps the gallbladder and the liver also. All right? Now, you can burn some peppermint, which actually is a fast, lucky incense, with some fast, lucky incense, and they will help to fall asleep and your luck will increase so that the next day you hit your winning number. You can also rub some peppermint against furniture walls and floorboards to um, chase and cleanse um, evil away, negativity. All right? Um, peppermint leaves, excellent. You got to get it. All right, you have poke root, poke root. All right, um, when when the poke roots, as you see here, the berries on it, it looks greenish, but actually they um, look damn near like the same color, purple, dark purple, black almost, um, just like um, elderberry, you know. But this is poke root. This is how poke root looks, and is um you can use this. It helps um, move out anything in your body, and it uncrosses you and remove any jinx that is on you. You can mix it with an uncrossing powder or jinx removing powder for extra power in your spiritual ritual. Now that's the metaphysical science behind it. Um, you can also get um, the poke root and use it before um, the berries come upon it and um, it actually is healthy for you to eat and can um, help because normally after the, after the berries and everything start growing on it, in, in that way it becomes poisonous. All right. Uh, just like they say about mulling. Mulling, um, after the stalk comes up on top of it, um, it is best not to uh, utilize the leaves because it can become poisonous. All right. But um, my friend, Brother Renana, he said, oh, there's nothing poisonous to the melanated man. All right. Um, but that's, of course, in moderation. But um, here you have psyllium husk. Psyllium husk is um, real good. About that, something popped up. Basilium husk is actually one of the best colon cleansers. All right, it is. It bulks is it bulks up when you put it in water. It becomes like almost a gel if you just leave it there, like Jello. All right, so it's a real good bulking agent. You know, um, it lubricates moisture to remove excessive waste, toxins, poison, heavy metals um, in the body. As it acts as a bulk agent, it heals the entire um, intestinal um, tract. It acts as a laxative to eliminate constipation. Um, you know, everything dealing with the colon and, you know, even ulcers and hemorrhoids. You know what I'm saying? So you know, this is definitely what you want to use um, for colon issues. Now, you can also sprinkle psyllium husk around to get rid of, um, get rid of and remove a person away from you and your loved ones. You can also um, use uh, what's called hot foot powder for extra p um, power um, in your spiritual ritual, all right? That's the metaphysical science behind the herb. This is one thing that most herbalists don't teach you is the metaphysical properties behind the herbs also. We do that so that, um, you know, you have the science for both directions, the metaphysical as well as also the physical. All right, so here we have red clover, red clover. Um, if you carry it, you know, it's good, it's good luck and turn bad luck around. Flows, um, herb can also be used to sprinkle around. Um, so, you know, you put it in your left shoe to keep evil away from following you. Because as they say, your left, your left, your left, right, left, 
all of that is talking about the ancient Egyptians. When you put forth your left foot forward, it um, crushes and um, um, smudges. Sm uh, it basically smashes your enemy. All right. So that's right for the own peace. So if you have been heartbroken, you can place red clover near your heart and a piece of um with a piece of cloth to help keep um um to get you through the loss. Red clover is also is an all purpose herb for money, health, luck, protection, and basically when you need it. And you can also sprinkle um, red clover under rugs and in the corners of the room or in your car. You can also um carry red clover in your purse or pocketbook or uh, shoot in your wallet if you're traveling to keep you safe and protected. Um, red clover is an excellent blood purifier. It also uh, it benefits the entire bodily system. It is also known to restore fertility. Um, that's within men and women. Um, so if a man is impotent, it can help with that. Um, it is um, exceptionally good to calm the nerves, ease arthritis, rheumatism, bronchitis. It also helps to heal the skin problems such as acne, boils, psoriasis, as well as break down growths, tumors, and cancers. All right, next you have red raspberry, red raspberry leaves. All right, red raspberry leaves is excellent to strengthen the female um, organs such as the uterus and the entire reproductive system. Um, so this is excellent for a woman to take throughout her whole pregnancy. This is one of the few herbs that you can take throughout the whole pregnancy with no problem. Matter of fact, it, it is even used um, for menstrual cramps, morning sickness, and childbirth, after childbirth, um, pain, childhood diseases, nervous conditions, digestive disorders, diabetes, lactation, um, you know, shoe, um, leucrea, uh, mouth sores, conker sores, ulcers. So throats, eye wash, you can use it as eye wash, um, colds, flus, bronchitis, and fractions, or fractures, excuse me. So red raspberry leaves, all right, I put that in the category with the rest of the leaves that we just made mention of um, from everything from, all right, so these leaves, very powerful. They have um, robos. Robos tea is um, good for um, helping to cure nagging headaches, insomnia, asthma, emphysema, bone weakness, hypertension. So that's high blood pressure, allergies, and premature aging. The tea is um, absolutely free from uh, from caffeine content and is also low in tannins. You can also enjoy the, uh, this refreshing beverage all day long with no possible side effects. Drinking um, Robos tea can further ease severe stomach cramps as well as for that's for a woman as well as uh, brain relief to asthma and other related conditions. It also boosts the immune system of the body. It, uh, help, the health benefits of the red robos tea are abundant. This form of tea has traditionally been popular due to its great taste and unique color while also boosting the health of the body. Uh, rare boast tea or red tea is medically herbal be um, beverage that is acquired from the Aspalatal um, thrust um, linearless bush um, plant that is found in South Africa. All right, so this rare boast tea comes from South Africa. Right, rosemary. Of course, most people just think of rosemary as part of a culinary dish, you know, used in flavor soups, um, sauces, meats. Um, but in addition to cooking it, it has also been used for uh, many, many other conditions. Cancer prevention, all right, improve your memory, all right. In fact, uh, just sniffing rosemary for a few moments will increase your memory to 75%. Mood, um, elevator, migraine help, pain relief, anti-inflammation, or um, inflammatory, immune booster, antibacterial, uh, digestive health, 
hair growth, better circulation, fresh breath, uh, diuretic properties, respiratory health. That's why I was talking about with rosemary, respiratory, the lungs, um, liver um, detoxification, anti-aging, precautions. For the most part, rosemary is considered safe and with no, with no side effects. However, pregnant women should also avoid a large amount of rosemary because it leads to um, uterine um, contractions and miscarriage. People with high blood pressure should not take rosemary because it, can, it may raise blood pressure. All right, and that depends on what you might mix with it. Sage, all right. Um, spiritually, sage. Of course, we know that uh, not only can you drink sage as a tea, but you can also burn sage in order to ward off misfortune and bad luck. All right, sprinkle sage around the house, your place of business or churches to bring peace and money blessings. Sage is carried to promote wisdom, and it is also used with statue um, powders and incense to make um, your spiritual ritual stronger. Now, of course, if you take red clover and sage and put them together, then you got a very powerful combination as far as luck and protection and good fortune coming your way. Those two helps that. All right, sage is also good for um, baldness and increasing um, the immunity as well as also your circulatory system. Supplemento. Supplemento is beneficial in all glandular issues, especially the sexual glands. It promotes pregnancy. It's also um, good for men who have impotent problems. Um, it's been used to increase the size of small breasts. It also acts as a regulator of hormones as well as weight. It is used for alcoholism. Afri um, aphrodisiac, asthma, bladder problems, bronchitis, colds, even diabetes, frigidity, digestion, impotency, as we talked about just a few seconds ago, prostate gland, mucus, congestion, obesity, and etc. All right. It says we suggest you research this herb for Mother Nature so that you can be more familiar with its wonderful benefits. All right. Then we have slippery elm. Slippery elm. So this is for all lung problems: asthma, bronchitis, colds, flus, hoarseness, tonsillitis, sore throat, smoking, etc. That means emphysema. It is excellent for the digestive um, system, stomach, colon, ulcers, constipation, diarrhea, bladder, uterus, ovaries, vagina, eyes. All right. Carry slippery elm with you to stop gossip and jealous talk. All right. You can. Uh, burn the brain for this effect. Also, it is good for reverence who are trying to draw large crowds of people. All right. All right. St. John Wart is excellent for afterbirth, at wedding, um, urinary, urinary um, problems, water. Retention, heart, nervous problems, elevate, um, elevate, elevate um, stress, gout, anemia, skin problems, burns, bruises, wounds, etc. It's good to use for persistent mucus problems for the lungs and the bowels. Right, St. John Ward is used to protection against witchcraft and root work. Sprinkle St. John Ward around your house, on your home, or your um, place of business for the same effect. All right. Now, spearmint, all right, we went over peppermint, and spearmint is the cousin to peppermint and to the various mints. We have white mint, mint, and different other mints, but um, these are the two most popular ones, is peppermint and spearmint, all right? Um, you have spearmint gum, all right? I know people use, the, use that. Of course, there was no real spearmint in the gum, probably back in the days, but I know not not for me growing up, all right? They didn't have the real thing. There was always some um, artificial thing. 
but you can sprinkle the mint in all the rooms of the house for protection against voodoo and witchcraft. You can also rub mint on your head to relieve headaches and to clear your mind of worries. All right? Right? It's loaded with vitamins, antioxidants, and vital nutrients. Despite having a very similar aroma to peppermint, spearmint does not contain as much menthol, but is rich in um, limonin, uh, you know, and these other various uh, uh, properties. Along with other herbs, it belongs to the mint family like we spoke of. And, also, and of course, um, is very powerful as far as circulation, all right? Uh, it can be used in colds, for colds, flus, uh, asthma, bronchitis, rubbing it on the chest, spearmint, peppermint, rosemary, lavender, eucalyptus. Those particular five can be rubbed um, as a, or put as a poultice on the chest, just like mom's Vic um, used to use Vic rub on you when you was a child. And they help clear congestion because uh, petroleum plus eucalyptus slash uh, menthol, which is from peppermint or spearmint, was used. Um, it can do the same thing without having to use that nonsense. Petroleum, that is, which, of course, is nothing more than, you know, um, Uh, there's nothing more than uh, um, oil. I guess you say petroleum is oil. Of course, we call it Vaseline today. So they take Vaseline and mix it with some herbs, eucalyptus and menthol coming from peppermint experiment, and put that together, and they call that Vix rub. All right, but the ancient um, indigenous people, um, our ancestors, they use it to curing um, sexual transmitted diseases like gonorrhea, whitening your teeth, and healing sore gums. Sore gums. Um, you know, it also was used to mimic a local anesthesia, right? So it can actually, if it's taken in a large amounts, it actually can numb you. All right, it can numb you. So, let's say if you wanted um, a tooth taken out or something then you can actually put a lot of peppermint or spearmint, um, you know, in that area in order to help with gum, um, help numb the area so that you can, on your gum, so that you can um, extract the tooth. All right, spirulina. Spirulina is a natural um, algae, part of the blue, green algae um, family in a sense, um, related to it along with Corella. All right, but this has an incredibly high um, protein um, and good source of antioxidants, B, vitamins, and other nutrients. When harvested correctly from non-contaminated ponds and bodies of water, it is one of the most potent nutrient sources available. It is largely made up of protein and essential amino acids, and is typically recommended for vegetarians and, in particular, vegans for its um, high natural iron content, all right? It says this concentration of protein and iron can also make it ideal during pregnancy, after surgery, and any time the immune system needs a boost. Tarragon, all right? Next is tarragon. Tarragon is mainly used to treat stomach Disorders and act as a um, anesthesia and sedative. It is known to stimulate the appetite, um, numb aches and pains, acts as a mild um, sedative and sleep inducement, um, treat um, hyperactivity, promote calmness, all right, aids digestion, uh, release and Flushes out toxins out the body, relieves stomach cramps, indigestion, all right, gas, when as they refer to it as, ease menstrual pains, alleviate rheumatoid and arthritic pain, acts as a laxative and relieves constipation, helps die, um, depression, if taken with fennel, 
helps people with heart problems and obesity if taken as a substitute for salt. So that means that tarragon has a large amount of uh, potassium. All right. Normally tarragon is used in salads, and that's what people you know use it for in um, roasted fish. Uh, you know, and other um, uh, tomato, eggs, and cheese dishes. Um, you can mix it with butter and different other things, marinate your fish and your chicken, you know, all of these types of things, tarragon is used, all right? Of course, we don't eat none of that, so tarragon is normally used with us as far as its um, healing properties, as far as the herb. Do you have turmeric or turmeric, which is known as a uh, very powerful anti-inflammatory, and both within the Moorish and Indian system of medicine, traditionally, um, it was called saffron because of its deep yellow orange color. It is thought throughout history as an anti inflammatory agent to treat a wide variety of conditions, including flatulation, which is gas, when um, jaundice, menstrual difficulty, bloody urine, um, hemorrhaging, toothaches, bruises, chest pains, cancer, and colic. Now you have valerian root. Valerian root is one of the best, basically, nerve tonics. So if you take valerian root, lobelia, kava kava, St. John warts, you know, damn, you, you, you be so damn relaxed, you think you smoke some weed or some shit. <laughs> okay? But these are the herbs in which that is the best nerve tonic. It helps you relax. Um, it relax the whole system. It soothes pain, promotes sleep. I remember the first time that I found that I that I really I knew valerian root already because we was already selling it. But that it was really effective with a brother. He came in and he had a toothache and he was like he was going to wish that shit on his worst enemy. And he took a damn handful of damn valerian root. And that shit subsided within a matter of seconds. And he was like, you know, like, whoo. But see, what happened is that volume was made from valerian root. So we know that volume does um, relax the body, you know. It is used for convulsions, um, epilepsy, paralysis, shock, fever, childhood diseases, digestive disorders, insomnia, fatigue, pain, sedative, headaches, migraines, nervousness, heart, heartburn, high blood pressure issues, and etc. All right. Vitavert. Um, this vitavert is the health benefit. Um, is basically for anti-inflammatory. Um, antiseptic, aphrodisiac, for your nerves, sedative, tonic, uh, all types of things. This, this is what this is good for. All right. Wormwood. Wormwood. Ooh. Wormwood is basically um, used as the herb to help rid the body of pinworms, roundworms, um, all types of worms and other parasites. When you mix wormwood with black walnut, um, garlic, uh, cloves, and, and golden seal, damn, you got a very powerful combination. They get rid of all the worms in the body. It's recommended for treatment of liver insufficiency, kidneys, edema, anemia, and absence of a menstrual cycle. It is also good for anxiety and gout. It is generally good for all the diseases that involve the retention of water and tissues. It is also used for anti-spasmic, um, spasmodic uh, flow of bowel, menstrual um, irregularities, um, sedative, Stim, um, stimulation of the uh, 
the physiology processes, good health, joint inflammation, digestion, um, nutrient absorption, et cetera, et cetera. All right? So it is good for a lot of things. It's wormwood. All right? In the Bible, it mentions wormwood, but people think of this mentioning the wormwood as a comet, as some type of, um, you know, planet-sized asteroid or something. All right? But wormwood is mentioned in the book of uh, Revelation. But as you see, it's also good for um, anorexia, um, anti-tumor, uh, wound heal, um, healing, muscle spasm, gallbladder dysfunction, eye function, yellow dock. Yellow dock is, once again, a natural antibiotic. It's one of the best blood purifiers in the herbal kingdom. It's especially good as a blood cleanser. It cleanses the lymphatic system and tones the entire bodily system. All right? When this is taken in conjunction with golden seal and myrrh, whoo! It's been used for earaches, eye problems, skin problems, venereal diseases, uh, that means you can also mix it with Padiaco, because Padiaco does the same thing. So, yellow dock, Padiaco, golden seal, garlic, ooh, mean mixture, mean. All right, childhood diseases, digestive disorders, pancreas problems, cancer, tumors, growth, liver problems. Um, bladder issues, gallstones, spleen problems, um, pituitary gland problems or issues, gout, inflammation. Yohimbi. Oh shit, Yohimbi. Can cause dilation of the peripheral blood vessels um, along with the central nervous system stimulation. Therefore, the drug has been investigated for erectile dysfunction. Clinic study shows and does suggest that the Yohimbi may be effective in the treatment of male or um, organic or organic impotence, impotency. All right, and of course it is. Um, but you want to use Yohimbi in conjunction with other herbs such as with Damiana and saw Plamento, red clover. Okay, ginseng, maca root. All right, you won't want to use it by itself because it does increase the heartbeat, heart rate. So um, you don't want to have a high sugar, con um, salt content. Um, you don't want to have eaten a lot of salt, a lot of salty food, um, which causes the heart to increase um, the beats. And Yohimbi does the same thing. However, you want to make sure that you have a lot of potassium, all right? So you don't want the sodium, all right? A lot of sodium causes the heart to um, speed up. So if you take your Hemby, then it can actually go into um, heart problems or issues. So you want to make sure that you're taking a lot of potassium, all right? So you want to make sure that you uh, have eaten at least two to three bananas and other high potassium foods. Right before taking your Hemby, and it won't cause um, an issue with the heart as far as speeding it up. Wild yam, wild yam, right? Indigenous traditions for women overall health, comfort, and even promotes pregnancy. Wild yam is found in the Midwest, Eastern United States, so it's all around here, as well as Latin America, Asia, and has long been used for tradition in traditional native cultures. All right. So, um, of course, you know, ancestral herbs by Healing Wings Institute via Shaman Healer, Aline Mel Bay and Kadera El Bay. Healing Wings Institute was developed, uh, has de have developed, has developed actually our own blend of organic wildcraft herbs that can heal nearly any and every ailment, sickness, disease, and bodily illness. This herbal line is called Ancestral Herbs. Tell your family, friends, and associates. All right. Biblically, um, these are um, 
the names of the herbs or the various herbs um, in the Bible. Uh, what it says about herbs is that herbs yielding seeds and the fruit, herbs yielding seeds after his kind, giving you every herb bearing seeds. So the problem is now with the so-called weed is that it's been GMO and it has no seeds any longer and therefore it's been genetically modified and that is an issue, that is a problem. Um, therefore it's not living, it's not alive, it's not organic. Um, you can't call seedless watermelons and seedless grapes organic. Even though we have a tendency to allow such places as um, Whole Foods to do so. Right? It's a lie. It's a misconception. It's not true. It's not living. It can't be living. It's not possible. All right? All right. Um, God, are there any questions concerning anything? No, sir, God. No, sir. No, sir. All right, all right. All right. Well, we're going to end class here then. Um, that is the end for the okay. herbs. Um, we're going to do a we're going to do a review. The next class, then we're going to get into some other information, in which that will help. We're going to get into the meridians and the pressure points and those types of things, um, and what we can look for in the body in order to help with the various herbs, the which that we have just mentioned. So we're going to go over a preview and then get into of the information. All right? Okay. Next class. All right. I pre so appreciate y'all. Next Sunday. And course, um, okay. Appreciate you too, Ock. All right. All right. Peace peace and love. Please. And thank y'all again for the uh, for the hospitality and the nice time. Appreciate it. Love, peace and love. Oh, yeah. No problem. Appreciate you coming, Ock. Thank you for coming. Yeah, yes, sir. Appreciate yes, sir. That came. Appreciate you. All right. Yes, sir. You, you, you had a question? Okay. All right. I didn't get a chance to work out one time with the hung guard. Huh? I didn't, get, I didn't get a chance one time to work out with you with the hung guard. So I know. I didn't get a chance to work with you one time with the hung guard. So I know when you come in July, we got to get it in. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, oh, Anybody yeah. One thing I was working out with you. Yes, right. yes, sir. I want to, I want, I want to show you that steel wire. I want to see. I want you to watch me uh, do that steel wire and tell me what you think about it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, me, me and my wife want to be able to uh, call you guys and set up an appointment. I, I hear you saying something. Oh. Oh, I'm, I'm sitting here. I'm, I'm uh, okay. giving my, my some herbs. I got that way. <laughs> How you doing? Hi. Nice to see you. Come here. Oh. Hi. Hi. Hey. I'm like, like you were mentioning, I got, I'm going to rub down a little bit of lavender and all that stuff because his little, his little breathing, you know, we got to make sure we, we get the, the herbs, coat them, coat them up, rub them up. Oh, yeah. Like, you know, have to have good sleep. But me and my wife, me and my wife want to call you guys and set up. This is the upper respiratory area. Right here. Right here. He's showing you where to rub it. He's showing you where to rub it. Okay. Okay. On the, uh, right here. It's right on the coat. Um, right on the um, collarbone. It's right under the collarbone. Right. This area right here is the upper respiratory area that you're going to rub that lavender, rosemary, your lupus. You know, peppermint, spearmint, or whatever. You know, right in the area to help clear that um that um mucus, that um congestion. Exactly. Okay, yeah. thank you. Yeah, he has uh congestional problems in his right. chest. Internally, you can also take it. You can also make peppermint and spearmint. Right. Right. Spearmint. Okay. They ain't gonna stop him from playing yeah. though. No, no. Uh -uh. He's the warrior. He's a cancer. Right. <laughs> right. But well, me and my wife were he can take peppermint tea. Peppermint tea. Okay. Yeah. He can also um he can also take a little pinch of um cayenne pepper and put in there. Right. And oh, yeah, cayenne pepper actually cure it. Along with those other herbs. 
Mm-hmm. Oh wow. Okay. Well, there, there you go. Uh, me and my I wife, me and wife, gonna call you guys in a uh, set up appointment in a couple of weeks. Oh yeah, so yeah, Right, cause we want to talk to y'all about how how to get our how to okay. set up our business, <laughs> what things we should start okay. with, and give us some ideas. Right. She found. Okay, but we'll call you to set up an appointment and then we'll set it up. Now, you have, you have to pay off the uh, metal chairs deck before you get started. Is that what it is on the metal chairs deck? All right. <coughs> no, you do that as we go along, guys. Huh? Okay, because I, I started paying some uh, last last week. Okay. All right, sir. Peace and love to you guys. Tell the queen I said. When she said tell the queen, you said peace and love. All right. Thank you, sir. All right. Peace. Peace and love. Peace and love. All right. Thank you all.